Hello team, my fellow time traveler. Grab your nudie suit and jump with us into the past to find the mysterious true story behind Grand Person's famous suit. Who can forget nudie suits? A peculiar country western suit worn by singers starting in the 50s that became a symbol of extravagance and originality, still recognized today as a milestone in music history. Behind the nudie suits, there was a man with an incredible past. That man was Nudie Cohn, and his story is truly an American legend. That bunny will bring this trendy story to you today. Enjoy! Nuta Kotelyarenko, born in 1902 to a family of Jewish tailors in Kiev, Ukraine. His parents shipped him and his brother off to America to escape anti-Semitic pogroms when he was just nine years old. He arrived in New York in the early 20th century and changed his name to Nudie Cohn, then moved to California where he started making wild suits embroidered with dogs, plants, feathers, garlands, instruments, insanely patriotic eagles, fellow imaginary cowboys, and other symbols conjured up personally for each of his country singer clientele. He opened his Nudies of Hollywood shop on the corner of Victory and Vineland in North Hollywood in 1950, where he invented the sparkly rhinestone suit, still known to country music fans to this day as the Nudie suit. Graham Parsons also decided to wear one of the extravagant nudie suits. The extraordinary photographer, Ryan Rubenstein, immortalized Graham and his nudie suit in the tailor's shop. The model that Cohn sewed for Parsons, for the cover of the Flying Burrito Brothers debut album, The Gilded Palace of Sin, was unlike any other. Visible inside one lapel is the embroidered figure of a voluptuous naked woman. The green leaves featured prominently in the design on the front of the jacket are from a marijuana plant and the red petaled flowers above them are poppies, the natural source of morphine, opium, and heroin. Two anal and sequinal capsules and sugar cubes laced with LSD decorated the sleeves. On the back shined a giant gleaming cross. Flames licked the sides of both bell-bottom legs. Many consider Parsons' nudie suit to be the designer's masterpiece. Nicknamed Sin City after a song on the Brito's album, the suit has been called the Sistine Chapel Ceiling of Cowboy Attire. Five years after this photo was taken, Graham died from an overdose, and that suit for many became the symbol of a life of excess and of incredible musical talent and virtuosity. What do you think? Would you wear a nudie suit to work? Leave a comment now, your opinion matters. And if you want to become a time traveler, time traveler, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this strange story told by an alien and her imaginary friend, a pair that otherwise can't be found anywhere. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you can find a link in the description as well as our store. In our store, you can get an exclusive Christmas-themed t-shirt, sticker, and mug. And of course, stay safe with a My Story, Your Story mask. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, press thumbs down twice, just to be sure. Take it easy. Peace. Oh, by the way, I'm an alien. But not that kind of alien. Indubitably. That's my test. Indubitably. Ooh.